Hey everyone, it's me, Tim, and it's time for another Tim's Two Minute Tips. Today we're gonna to talk about the proper way to lift a motorcycle when it decides to take a nap. Stick around. So as you can see, my GS is laying on the side right now, and I'm gonna show you how to properly lift it. The number one thing to remember is when you do drop your bike, that you don't get embarrassed and panic and try to just lift it up real quick. Just shut the engine off, that's the first thing you should do. As long as you're, you're safe and you're okay and you make sure you're not broken, shut the engine off and just take a minute to relax. You're probably, you know, feeling some adrenaline uh, and you just, you don't want to pull your back out. You want to take your time and really think about this. Uh, if you do it right, it really shouldn't be that hard. Now, if you're fortunate enough that the bike falls on the right side, you can actually put the kickstand down and this makes the process of getting it upright a little bit easier it, it prevents you from going too far with it and tipping over on the other side because i've had that happen uh, in the other situation if it falls on the left you don't have that advantage but it's still doable so ideally the bike will be in gear for this otherwise it's potentially going to roll if you can't get to the shifter that's okay you can pull in the front brake so basically turn the handlebar in the direction that the bike is over on so if it's like it is right now on the right side i'm going to turn the handlebars full lock to the right now you're just going to put yourself backwards to the motorcycle with your butt in the middle of the seat squat down by bending your knees and reach for the handlebar on the side of the fall and grab firmly onto the grip that would be the lower side of the bike with your other hand you're going to just find a spot maybe a grab bar or a you know crash bar something towards the back of the bike uh, maybe some protection on one of your cases depending on your motorcycle setup ideally as low as you can get it. Next thing you're gonna do is put your feet close together and look up. Uh, this is gonna help you keep your back straight as you're lifting. Now just press and lift with your legs pushing your butt into the seat of the motorcycle. Just take small baby steps. Uh, once you get it, if you're lucky enough to have a GS where you kind of get that advantage of having the cylinder keeping the bike from being completely flat, uh, once you get it to that tipping point, just take baby steps and slowly walk backwards as the bike gets upright. And again, make sure that once it's upright, you slowly turn yourself around so you're facing the motorcycle. And if you can now, put the kickstand down if it's not on the other side, and just make sure you don't go too far with it and push it the other way over. That's kind of it. It's really very easy. And when it's done right, it shouldn't hurt your back. Uh, it should be very easy. And ideally what you should do is practice this at home in a flat spot on some grass or something soft. Uh, this gets a little more tricky when you fall over on a hill or something like that. You might have to spin the bike to get it to a point where you can lift it. Um, so practice a little bit at home. It'll make it a lot easier when you're out in the field and you run into this situation. Anyways, that's it for today's two minute tips. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.